For anyone that may be new to the channel, I have been doing runs of different courses in the two pole position games since last year. I started off with the original pole position single course, moved on to the insane Suzuka course in pole position 2, also known as Wonder if you're playing a later re-release, and then to the test course, which was much easier but still tricky for scoring. And recently, I cleared Fuji Speedway aka Namco Circuit in pole position 2. This is the same course from the original pole position, but it is a bit harder than before. Plus, it is still one of the most iconic tracks in racing game history. I'm going to discuss one of my clears of it today, so let's get to it. So the first part is going to be qualifying. Before the light turns green, I'm already going to be on the throttle, and I'm not going to let off after either. So this is a hidden mechanic that causes you to go faster than you would otherwise. And next up is going to be the first turn. This isn't the sharpest in the game, but you still need to be a bit careful here. The next two curves aren't too much of an issue. However, this curve is the nastiest on the whole course. Very easy to screw up. At this point, for this here part here, you just want to worry about passing up the other vehicles. The curves themselves aren't too bad. And that's it for qualifying. I achieved third place. But if I had that time of the original, I would have been on pole, believe it or not. And now for the race. So the first thing that I'm worried about is just passing up these three cars here, which I'll do pretty quickly. First turn is not going to be too much trouble. And now I'll have some open space here. Be able to accelerate further before the big left turn. Notice how I start that turn as far inside as possible. Right now I'm just worried about passing up the cars after the big left turn. And soon I will be done with the first lap. As you can see now, there are more vehicles on the road to pass up. More obstacles, in other words. And unfortunately, I'm going to crash right here. I didn't have a whole lot of place to, places to go. But that's okay. On this course, you can afford to crash one time and still make it to the end. Trying to be careful here, passing up these cars. Of course that lap was not very good, but this next lap is going to be a lot better. Passing up some more cars. This time I'm going to do a much better job on that turn. Also, the puddles here actually do slow you down in this game, unlike in pole position 1. And I'm going to hit one right here, unfortunately. But still, this is the best lap of the whole race. And now for the final lap. I'm going to pass up some more cars. Ooh, that was a tight one. And I'm slowing down quite a bit for that one. But that's okay, I didn't crash. And now for the last stretch of this race. Just taking my time, not worried too much about passing up cars. Though I will pass them up here, and that's it. That is it for the race. And I get a bonus for passing up vehicles, added to the end of the race as well as a time bonus. And that is it. So what did you think of Pole Position? Did you play the original one or the second game back in the day? Did you spend a lot of time with either one of them growing up, whether it be in arcades or Namco Museum? Let me know in the comments below. That is going to be it though for this video. 
Thank you so much for watching and I will see you again soon.